Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy in Chandelar. And uh, you know what? Let's let's dive in to Chandelar. Here we go. Oh, that sound. I love that sound. Now, last time, talking about sound, last time the sound, I'm sorry, it was totally off balance. I mean, I think the sound of the uh, of the game was way too loud. So I'm sorry for that. I fixed it, I hope. So, I mean... I think I think like the balance is much better now like it was in the in the recent episodes actually I changed some settings forget to change them back that was for another video anyway uh, we're gonna go Timmy goes green I think I just raided that dungeon last week I've got the berserk finally so I'm hoping to really play with that card uh, this time around but before I jump into Timmy goes green first a quick message from our sponsor three for one trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 trading for sponsoring this video and we are back and i mean look at this this is my green deck now with the berserk here so let's take a look at this deck so basically what i want to do is just have a lot of land destruction with ice storm kind of wind that tempo game and at the same time i'm ramping up with my lana elves and of course just dropping a lot of cheap creatures like the asp i think asp in combination with land destruction, I mean, that's a, that's a winner for sure. And I also have, of course, some other really nice decks. Yeah, I mean, this deck is also, isn't this cool? I also put the Berserk in here. I mean, you want a Berserk or Crawl Worm, right? That's kind of the dream. Then you've got a 12-4 Trampler, that's so cool. Guess I should play with this deck, or should I go with the red-green one? Hmm. You know what? I. I think I'm just gonna go the mono green, like the big creatures for now. I think it's just a lot of fun. Um, let's have a look, what do we need to do? I don't see any village under attack at the moment. Nothing's red. I haven't really explored this part. So I, I think I'm just gonna go north and maybe I should go into the red castle. I think I'm like at that point where I need to start to defeat one of the wizards or else there's just too much activity. Um, let's see. Do we have some information about the red castle? Where can we find that anyway? So we've got the stats, the journal. Okay, so how do we go out of the journal again? Okay, we're out. I didn't know how I did that, but it kind of was glitching. Mm, here, quests recorded, 22 out of zero. Cities recovered, three. Cities saved, eight. Overall, one and lost, 90 to 31. Buy cards, nothing useful. Trade white amulets for black cards, no thank you. You know what? I think we're just gonna go to the Red Castle. Travel north to Hornwall Mill. Okay, we want to go anyway north, so. Oh no, Beastmaster is attacking. So let's just fight the Beastmaster, right? You want to make sure that they, uh, they don't get more cities. Ah, Beastmaster wants to draw first. Sure, man. Go for it. Um, let's have a look. So we've got Soul Ring. Oh, that's great. Crawl Worm, Ice Storm, Winter Blast, Factory, Forest, Factory. So I'm like, this is amazing. I can go turn one factory into Soul Ring, turn two Forest, Soul Ring, Ice Storm. Now you don't want to start with Forest into Soul Ring because two reasons. Uh, maybe he's going to destroy the forest and you only have one forest in hand. So you want to protect that. The other reason is if you start with Factory, the next turn, if your plans change, you can also attack with the factory because it no longer has summoning sickness. So we're going to go for factory soaring. I mean, this is a great start, isn't it? This feels good. 
A forest by the Beastmaster. Timberwolves. Okay, I mean, I think my strategy hasn't changed much. I'm just gonna attack the mana base. I mean, we'll, I've got another Ice Storm in hand. And I mean, I can deal with the, uh, with the Timberwolves later. 21, okay. I mean, I'm hoping to find another green, of course, because I want to start casting that Crow Worm. Ooh, this is a bit annoying, the Asp. Okay, so we can go Forest. Um, I think I'm going to go Ice Storm. Another option could have been Untamed Wilds. Go for the second green. The next turn, I could have played Crow Worm, but I mean, I just want to keep them small for now. He's gonna attack okay so I mean maybe he's gonna crumble if he does you know it is what it is but I really want to animate and, and block the asp I mean giant growth another option yeah there we go giant growth yeah yeah this is unfortunate this is unfortunate Let's see, Untamed Wilds, and then next turn I can cast the Crawl Worm. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to attack with the Factory, because I'm not going to block. Why? Because I don't want to lose the Factory, I want to play out the Crawl Worm. So I think I'm going to animate and just attack for two. The thing is, if you're not going to block, you might as well attack anyway, right? And I keep one mana open to pay the task for the Asp, so that's not really a problem. Look at him attack here, how fast. Oh, another Giant Grove. Uh-oh, wow. So I'm not gonna pay for it before I start my new turn. Yeah, we gotta go Crawl Worm, right? I mean, it's the only sensible thing to do. Crawl Worm hitting the board, yeah, Crawl Worm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Crow Worm finding its way here on the battlefield 6 4. You know what? I'm going to attack. Because I can play the spider and I've got the factory as a blocker. So. Cast the spider. Perfect. I mean, this is the thing, if you've got a quick deck like the Beastmaster, um, you kind of wanna um, wanna play all your small creatures very, very early, put pressure on from the get-go, because now, you're, now we're more in the mid game, and because of that soul ring, I was able to kind of get my creatures out early, and that's really bad for the Be Beastmaster. And this is the same problem you, you have in regular old school, if you've got that, that swarm strategy with a lot of small creatures, I mean, because opponents often play with all the mocks and you just go too fast and they start playing out their bigger creatures. So it's pretty, pretty annoying when you're playing the smaller creatures. I think it's one of the reasons that goblins in old school is not that strong. Although that being said, mono green in old school in the hands of the right players, they can win tournaments and mono black, of course, is also kind of a quick deck, I guess. So the quick aggressive decks definitely have a place in the format as well. Ooh, the Jaguar. Cockatrice. Okay, that's good. I don't have a cockatrice. Uh, okay, I think I'm also going to attack with the giant spider because of the giant growth. Ooh, he's blocking. Okay, so I can now giant growth so it doesn't die. The problem is banning. You can just put all the damage on one Timberwolves. That's exactly what he does. Yeah, banning, banning is good. I wish Desert Twister was an instant. I think they could have made an instant for six, right? It wouldn't be too good in my opinion. Oh, wow. Aspect of Wolf. Okay, I am gonna block. I'm gonna take four. Let's see if he has another giant growth. I guess he doesn't. Pay for it. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? The time has come. 
to push that button. We're gonna destroy. I guess I gotta change this to assembly worker because I don't wanna... Oh, I can kill him actually now with the crow arm. I meant I don't wanna get uh, mana burn. I didn't finish my sentence, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at the cards. For Jern Enchantress, I'm gonna, t I love the Enchantress. I'm gonna take the cards. Okay, so I freed this village, but where am I? Oh, I'm at Shilcliffe Temple. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Red Castle. I think the Red Castle has a lot of like smaller creatures and they're playing with um, Orcish Oriflame, right? I think that's the one. Maybe I should play my red deck. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more like direct damage? I think like cards like Lightning Bolt could be quite good with all the weenie creatures. I've got another Pyrotechnics I could play. Hmm, could consider doing that. Let's see. Lure, Untamed Wilds, Tranquilities, Giant Grove, Stream of Life, Crumble Berserk. Oh, of course, I need to play some life gain. But this is not an Ivory Tower deck, though. You know what? I'm just going to go in with the deck as is. Let's see. Do I need to buy some cards? War Mammoth. Uh, which one is this? Fog. Wanderlust. I'm going to buy Wanderlust because maybe... Oh, it's 300? Whoa, that's expensive. Is it that expensive? Really? A Wanderlust? Oh, wow. I got so many black cards. Lord of the Pits. Wow. Can't sell Guardian Beast for that price. I just can't. Uh, anyway, I've got money enough now for the Wanderlust. I think Wanderlust could work really well in a deck with uh, Fragility Enchantress, right? So that could be cool. Okay, let's see. Where am I at again? Okay, so I'm just going to go down to the Red Castle. Okay, Duel the Elementalist. Winning the toss. Play first. Start the duel. Let's see what I got. Sylvan Library, Fireball, Mountain, Lure, Giant Spider, Forest, Thicket. Okay. I'm gonna go for Mountain. Pass. I now know how Sylvan Library works, I think. So, <laughs> should be able to handle that card now. Um, let's go Forest, go Sylvan. Oh, what did people say in the comments again? The problem is I play, then I don't play for a week or two weeks or whatever, and I, I forget stuff. Um, okay. Um, put back, and I now... Oh, man, I should have clicked on something else. I'm doing it wrong again. Put back. Oh, man, I'm doing it wrong again. What was it? This is annoying. Because now I'm looking two cards deep and, and the last time I was doing it the correct way and I could look three cards deep. People in the comments, thank you so much. They helped me solving the issue. Oh, wow. Now it works. Whoa, look at that. Three cards. This this is the way it needs to work. Um. Put back. I can play Giant Spider. Let's go for that. Pass the turn. Yeah, I need flyers. I mean, also a thicket doesn't work against the wall. The ability, so. Okay, so now I gotta click Sylvan, right? Ah, there we go. Put back on library. This one. Pay for life. I'm just going to draw an extra card. That's what it's there for, right? Um, yeah, I'm just going to go Dancing Scimitar because I can, can fly over. Let's do this one. Let's say don't auto-tap the City of Brass, right? Because that's costing life. I really like the art of Wall of Water, by the way. Also, Wall of Water Unlimited is like beautiful. It's really nice. 
Oh, an arrow mount. Okay, I, can, I luckily I can now. I also have a fireball, by the way. I could just destroy them with the fireball. Um. Okay. Ooh, look at that. I've got a library. Um. Whoa, what to do, what to do. I can keep, I can take damage. Keep cards in hand. Okay, wait a minute, pay for life. I gotta get an extra card, exactly. Cause now I've got six, I'm gonna play nothing. Next turn, draw into card seven and, and eight and I've got Loa. I mean, I'm gonna go low on life, low on life with the Loa, but and with Loa, I mean library of Alexandria, of course. Such, oh no, oh man, this is bad. No, earthquake for four. I'm on eight. I feel like I, I gotta block this one or I'm on one, I'm not gonna survive. Oh, this is bad, I'm gonna die? Okay, 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 I just gotta think. Uh, wait, I forgot to click on the Sylvan. Okay, this is really stupid. Um. I guess I can play this. I cannot kill the air elemental now. Wow, I think I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna pass turn, I think. Oh wow, this is bad. Gonna swing and hopefully, I'm gonna get one more turn. I hope, fingers crossed. Give me one more turn, please. Drain power, no, 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 no. Um. Can I do anything? No. Like if I if I would have had like for example a Mishra's factory, I could have just animated my factory for a lot of time. Oh, getting a damage from my own. Oh no, fireball. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. <sighs> yeah. This is bad for multiple reasons. Do I have another giant grove? Uh, yeah, I do. Yes, that's good. Okay, at least I can replace it. Um, begin a quest. Mana link. Oh, I want a mana link. Shell cleft temple. Where is that? Oh, it's over there. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. No, leave me alone. So annoying. Um, I think we're going to pay 80 gold. Wall of Bone. Nice, don't know that art. Okay, so Shieldcliff Temple, it's... No, go away! Oh man, I cannot dodge the Centaur. You know what, I'm gonna duel you. I'm gonna duel you, War Chief. I'm feeling confident. Mm, start to duel. I've got Taiga, Forest, Crumble, Mountain. Darkwood, Boris, Cockatrice, Dance, and Scimitar. I mean, it's a slow hand, but I got enough lands. If I draw into another land, it can cast Dance and Scimitar. I mean, got Crumble. It's not the worst. Okay, let's go Mountain. Mm. That's the thing with these these mana hungry decks. Like I need an untamed wilds. I, I preferably need like Lanora elves early in the game. If I don't draw into any mana acceleration, it's a really slow deck. Even in even in Chandelar, it's a slow deck, and then it's a really slow deck. Uh oh, mana issues. Look at that. Ay 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 ay. Dropping to 19. Oh my god. You know, I'm just gonna eat an orange. I need some I need some vitamins. Need some vitamins to beat the computer today. Centaur. Okay, I can crumble the centaur. I love it. I'm gonna do that. Value, value, value. Okay. Um let's see. Cast a scimitar. 
I mean, now now it's going okay. You know, Crumble, Scimitar. If I find a land next turn, I can play Dirkwood Boars. I've got a 4-4 body to attack with. I really like the art of the Dirkwood Boars, by the way. Dirkwood Boars. Just do nothing, War Chief. Just pass. It's fine. Just pass the turn. Just do nothing. Give me a victory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, stolen. Sorry, I know I shouldn't eat, but yeah, I just need some vitamins. Dirk with boys. There we go. Attack for one. Smoke. Players cannot untap more than one creature during their untap phases. Okay. I know that one. This card is like also nice with like uh, an Icy, for example. Land tax. Wow, that's a good one. I've got four lands, so you can start using it. Um, smoke. So I guess I gotta click on the creature every time with smoke. That's annoying. Ooh, I can cast Crawl Worm. You know what? I'm first gonna attack. Just with the boars. And I'm gonna play the Crawl Worm. There we go. Yeah, Lantex, such a good card. I mean, that card's bonkers. Also, because you're taking away the lands from your deck, you're just gonna just keep drawing like firepower because the, the, the lands are pretty much out of your deck very quickly with the land text. Just such a good card. Wall of Swords, man. Oh, I've got Berserk. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna play Berserk on the Crow Worm. Oh, this is awesome. Let's play Berserk. Oh yeah, 12, four trampler. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Just put the rest on here. Wow, this is awesome. So, and I've dealt him a bunch of damage. Look at it, he's on eight. And I've killed both of his creatures. Oh, this is perfect. Oh man, I keep forgetting that soul ring, that it doesn't auto tap and I'm gonna get a damage. Mana bomb. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I got an attack for seven lined up. Sarah Angel, okay. I have to say, like, Dirkwood Boards, it doesn't see a lot of play, and I guess for the right reasons, but I do like the card. It's one green, making it easy to splash. It's a 4-4, it's a four, four, which for five is kind of solid, so... Again, I understand it doesn't see a lot of play, but I do like the card. Ooh, he's trading it. Mm. Oh, we're making the same mistake again. Come on. Okay, just I got to remember to tap the soul ring first. Mm -hmm. I'm just lazy, you know. I just want to just. Double click, cast a creature, move on with my life, but that doesn't work. Ah, uh, Kism so Kismet and Smoke. That is a pretty cool combination, right? Smoke, players cannot untap more than one creature during their untapped uh, step. And Kismet says it all comes into play tapped. So that can work together. It's kind of a nice idea to make a whole like tapping down theme deck. But then without stasis, because stasis, of course, is the ultimate keep everything tap card. But, you know, go with other colors like red, like white, um, play Meek Stone, play Icy Manipulator, like just all that stuff. Maybe go black for Paralyze. Like there are a lot of cool things you can do, I think. Um, I can win, I guess. I can just attack with everything, then play Fireball. 
You know what song I'm talking about, right? Fireball! No, he's going to survive! Oh, man, dude. I applaud to you. I applaud to you. That's awesome that you survived Healing Solve. It's it's a card I keep forgetting, but in, in Chandler, Healing Solve is real. You got you to gotta think about it. Um, I'm going to untap the flyer, I guess. I mean, I can still win, right? Uh, let's change to assembly worker. Let's attack. I mean, if this works, fingers crossed again. I really finally winning again, but I really have to work right for my wins. Um, I feel like I got to take this because of the red elemental blast. Take the cards. Trade green amulets for any fast effects. So that's Berserk as well, but I only have one green amulet, right? So it's pretty bad. Um, let's see, where is the red cat? The red castle's there, okay. So I'm just gonna travel east to Hornwell Mill. Where's Hornwell Mill? It's over there. I could also get, go to the mill first. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to. Gonna go to the Rat Castle. Oh, there's a dungeon as well. Oh, that's tempting. What dungeon is that? Let's have a look. Mound of the Warrior King. Oh, the green mox. No black cards allowed. Contains small black creatures. You know what? I'm gonna do that later. Eye on the prize. I, I'm gonna go into the Red Castle. Let's save. Because the game has been glitching, so. Into the Red Castle! Hey! Who dares to challenge the mighty Red Wizardess? Are you brave enough to enter my castle? Well, I'm not actually. Okay, I enter. Cool art of this with that family. <laughs> I always wonder, like, who are these people? I always imagined as a kid that it was this little family, but then later I thought, why would it be a family? It's just fallen warriors, right? But let me know in the comments, what, what did you used to think with this art? Oh, the mana flare is in effect. I thought it was the uh, Orcish Artillery. The Mana Flare. Okay, in that case, I'm happy I'm playing a deck with a lot of big creatures. Elementalist won the toss. Okay, Elementalist, congratulations. Oh, that's a sh not a great hand. Wanted to use a swear word there, but I didn't. Oh man, it's gonna be a lots of mana burn with that mana flare. Okay. Oh wow. Um, I could go mountain, and then make double red. Use one for the curd ape, and I'm gonna use the other for the bolt on the raiders. Maybe I'm gonna regret it, but it just, it felt too good to do that. You know, you got like, you've got two red, it feels so efficient. I guess I'm gonna play a forest, so it becomes a two, three. There we go, look at the ape grow. Oh, and I've got stream of life. That is really sweet. Remember, life loss is carried over, but life gain as well. Talk about life gain, fireball. Wow, I mean, at least it's aiming for the monkey. That's better than for me. It's aim for the monkey. Gonna play the cockatrice now. Let's go forest. I mean, I gotta take mana burn. It's so cool to see like how the synergy between mana flare and, 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 and mana burn, you know, that they, those cards are really good. Like if you have a deck built around Mana Flare, 
Um, for example, you just play Sheevan, Dragon Whelps, Wall of Fire, cards like that, where you can just dump your excess mana, but your opponent can't. You know, that's that's a way to win as well. And of course, just have a lot of direct damage spells. Um, I'm not going to play my stream of life yet. I'm going to be patient. It's tempting because it's going to net me seven life, but I'm going to wait because next turn it'll be nine, then 11, then 13. So, ooh, wall of ah. And I think it doesn't work on walls. Yeah, non-wall creatures, just like the thicket. That wall of air is quite good at the moment. Two, four, six, eight, ten. He can generate 13 mana, so he can fireball me for 12. Oh, I also have a fireball. Oh, that's awesome. I can already win it. You know what? I'm going to stream of life now. And I'm going to fireball him next turn. Please don't play Fireball. I just want to continue with 31. Okay, Earth Elemental. I can I can deal with Earth Elemental. Let's go Forest. Let's go Fireball. Done. Only one target because that's of course the Elementalist. Hey, winning it here. Oh, this is this is a great start actually. Uh, okay, next one. Another Elementalist. Let's see what my hand looks like. Ooh, that's not great. That is not great. Um, oh, unstable. Oh, God. Really? I started on 22. Wait a minute. So life gain is not carried over because I ended on 31. I'm stupid. Of course, this is a castle. It's not a dungeon. I am so not smart, but this is pretty cool because look, I can tap for two. And I also have two Llanowers, so I can go one. I can go two. And then next turn, I think... No, I need another land. I want to say I think I can cast uh, Dirkwood Boars, but I can't. Hmm. This is annoying. I really thought that the life gain was carry over. Okay, Forest, this is good. Tap four, okay. Now we're gonna attack with this one. Yeah, it's a two-two now. Oh, he's gonna attack. Does it mean he's got something else? Maybe he's just bluffing. He's bluffing, I love it. I think that's actually a good move. Well, it would have been better if he had a red open because then he could bluff like a lightning bolt. But I think in this situation with the Mons Goblin Raids getting smaller and smaller, you, there, there's something to say for being so aggressive, I guess. But then again, if you kept it untapped, it could have soaken up now four damage, which is worth something. Um, I'm just going to attack because I'm going to cast a gem they told him, I think. So then he can start drawing some cards. Ooh, a Jambazar. I love that sound effect. The Jambazar. Ooh, Library of Alexandria. Okay. Um, let's draw a card. Again, the Berserk. Oh, I'm going to Berserk the uh, Dirkwood Boars and win the game that way. Let's go. I'm a big fan of this Berserk. It's really, really great. Okay, finally, we got a dice. Oh, we got an extra life, yes. Let's go here, okay. What is the power rating of Scavenging Ghouls? Scavenging Ghouls are two, two black creature. One black and three to cast, I think. It's a zombie now, yeah. It's got this very weird regeneration mechanic. Which of these spells has a power of one? The Mons Goblin Raiders has one. Thicket has two. Phantasmal is four. Windseeker Centaur two, I think. War Mammoth three. 
That Windseeker Sand Tower is a uh, Harper's Prism card. Um, ooh. You know what? I'm gonna fight this monkey. Ape Lord! Starts with Fire Drake. Funny fact about Fire Drake is there are, I think, only three flyers in the dark. I don't know that for sure, actually. But the best flyer in the dark is Ghost Ship. But Ghost Ship is a common. And guess what? This Fire Drake is an uncommon. Which is weird, because it's just really bad. I mean, you, you could argue it's it's uncommon because it's a flyer with an ability, you know, but if that argument holds true, you know, if that's what you're doing, then you should also, um, then Ghost Ship should be an uncommon as well. Oh, I love this fire breathing on Fire Drake. Uh, let's see, what could I do? I can go Pyrotechnics, kill him. I'm tempted to do, but I could also just go Giant Spider. I should just go Giant Spider. Just go Giant Spider. I can block him on the spider. That's fine. I'm just going to attack with the Llanowar. Pass the turn. Yeah, we're playing the same colors, by the way. Oh, Birds of Paradise. Okay, now I'm kind of tempted to go for the uh, Pyrotechnics play. Um, Let me think. Let's go Forest. Pyrotechnics. Bam, bam, bam. One here and three to the Dragon Engine. Dragon Engine and Mana Flare. Like, that's 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 a combination of cards I can really respect. I love that. Um, I could play Sylvan still. Pretty good turn. Pass. Pretty happy with this turn. Oh, this is good. Fireball on the Spider. Oh, no. It's not good. Oh, am I doing it wrong again? Oh, no, I'm not doing it wrong. Okay. Um, wow, this is a problem, actually. Um, I mean, it's not like... Let's not auto-tap this one, by the way. Don't auto-tap. Um... I feel like the problem here is, I mean, obviously I could consider putting a Berserk on the Fire Drake next turn that it dies, but then I'm gonna take double the damage when he attacks with it, so I could go Berserk now. Wow. Problem is if I Berserk it, it's gonna, I'm gonna take 10. Let me, what other cards did I have on there? A mountain and a, a, a troll, an often troll. I got a berserk, because if I wait with berserking it and I wait, I, I cannot do it anymore next turn because then I'm dead. So I'm going to do it. You know, this feels really bad, but at least the threat is gone. Right? It should die at the end of the turn. Yes, okay, that's good. Okay, put back on library. What do we have? Uh, let's put the lure back, put back on library. Let's put the mountain back. I mean, at this stage, you just want to just play out creatures, put pressure on. Oh man. The problem with these castles is if you if you lose, you boot it out of the castle. You gotta try it all over again. I mean, I'm on nine. I feel vulnerable with that mana flare. I mean, you could just fire off a huge fireball and I'm toast. Oh, you're gonna cast a crawl worm. Okay, okay. Oh, I've got stream of life. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, lure gone. Put it back. Um, stream of life gone. 
because I'm going to go mountain first. I'm going to attack with this. I'm going to keep my off control to, to block. Okay, he wants to trade even better. Next turn, I'm going to play out the, um, the stream of life. Stream of Life, by the way, has the perfect rules text. I think together with Time Walk, there are the two cards that they would, um, the, the rules text, they would keep it exactly the same if they would be reprinted right now. So in a way, they've got like perfect rules text. Let's go Sylvan. Um, put back on library. Lure. You know what? I'm just going to put the stream back again. Because, I mean, I've got the forest. I can wait. I, I know it's risky if he draws into Fireball, I'm dead. But I'm going to wait one more turn. Wait. I'm greedy, I guess. No Fireball. No Fireball, please. No Fireball. Great, okay. Put back on library. Spider. Put back on library. Lure. Stream of life, baby. 11, yes, put it all. Then we're gonna attack. I guess maybe I should have kept the red open to regenerate the often troll. What would you have done? I'm like, I'm just gonna go all in on the life gain. Oh, he's gonna gain life too. Oh, you cheeky monkey. You cheeky monkey. Let's put back. I'm just, I'm just gonna go for the giant spider. Yeah. Attack, let's put him on 18. Okay, uh, let's put it back. What do we have? Lure. We've got some forests. I mean, in these situations, I'm always tempted to kind of pay for life, but I don't know, I just want to stay really high. I'm just really afraid for Fireball. He's got tons of mana. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Cast the land. He's got 18. I mean, that's pretty insane. Put back. No, 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 not the Lawnmower. Oh, fudge. That's not good. Made a little mistake there. Of course, wanted to play out the Lawnmower because each creature counts. So extra damage. I'm hitting him for five attorneys on eight. So next turn could have had a hit for six. I guess it doesn't matter with the clock at the moment, but still. Okay, he's not doing anything. Okay, that's good. Put it back. Okay, let's not. Let's just go for the creature this time. Put forest back. Put lure back. Exactly. Play Lanawer. Probably should have done it second main. Oh, and I'm going to get mana burned because I could have oh, should have used the Lana one. Oh, this, this, this is so annoying. <sighs> okay, my opponent is on three. I got to, by the way, I got to work for my victories today. I mean, geez. Put it back. Put it back. Um, I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna attack. Oh no, they're not responding anymore. I just wanna attack. There's a glitch. Oh, I'm attacking for one now. Oh, giving him another turn. I mean, still, I think if he draws into a fireball, I'm still dead. Oh, Shivan Dragon, that's so cool. I love this art, by the way, from Amy Weber. The OG art for me, that's 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 a thing. Yeah. Um, let's cast this one just because it's cool. And now I hope that I can just attack with more than one creature. Okay, that's good. 
That's good. Hey, winning the duel. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got to go past the Afrit. Then there's stuff here, but... Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to go into this path. Whatever. We'll see what happens. A Queltosh. Play first, please. Always. Oh, that hand. That hand is not good. That hand's a problem. And he's got a Brothers of Fire, which is quite good when you have a Mana Flare out. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I mean, I've got Stream of Life. I've got Lanor Elves. I've got a Trike. It's actually a pretty decent hand if I had Lance. Oh, Lord. Black Vice. No, not a Vice. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, this is the worst. The Vice is the worst. I don't want to play a fireball because if I just draw into a land, I can fireball the brothers. Oh, I got to pass. Oh, this black vice. Oh, but this is, I mean, that, what can I do against this? Like seriously, if you draw this and he starts with a 2-2 and plays the vice. <sighs> oh man, fanta fantastic horses. Okay, now at least I can play the fireball. X cost A, blah, 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 yeah. At least I have a target for it now. Oh man, this is bad. I'm gonna take two from the brothers, three from the vice, so I'm gonna drop to eight in total. Yeah, Sarah Angel, of course. Mountain, okay. Oh God. Am I gonna take mana burn now? This is, uh, am I dead next turn? Question mark. I guess I'm not. Gonna go to three. Gonna take two damage from the vice code one. Forest, okay, I could, what can I do to stay alive? Can I do anything to stay alive? I mean, I can play Stream of Life, gain five, go to six, go to two, go to one. I think with Stream of Life, at least I've got one more turn if I do that. Let's. Or not, actually. I'm going to go to six and four. Yeah, I got one, one more turn, I think. If, if he doesn't find any other way to deal damage. Of course, yeah, play an Accessor Recall. Oh, yeah, Control Magic. Yeah, no, of course, go ahead. No, sure, you, 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 go. I was, I, I was ahead on board anyway. You go, you do your thing. Do, I lost the Sheevan? I lost the Sheevan? There is nothing I could have done. There is nothing I could have done. I was booted out, newsflash. A goblin lord to attack another city? Okay. So we're gonna duel the goblin lord. We're gonna kick the goblin lord out of this village. Oh man. This, this, that, that was a feel bad. That was a feel bad. Again, only a mountain in hand. That is brutal. That is brutal. Maybe I should just try with my green like weenie deck. Just go really fast. I don't know. Um, I think I'm just going to destroy one of the Goblin Raiders. Oh, man. Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, my salt level is getting higher and higher. Helm of Chatsuk, that's a cool card. I respect that. Oh man, 20. 
As long as he's just one little raider, at least I've got 20 turns to find a land, preferably a green one. Of course, another one. Okay, City of Brass works, I guess. Um, I think I should just go Lanawer. Just go Lanawer. I mean, if I can kind of like next turn play the other Lanawer. Of course, Immolation, yeah. Oh God, this is so bad. I mean, I'm not dead yet, but I'm not feeling, you know, good about this. I mean, this Lanawer needs to stick. If the Lanawer sticks, I could go Untamed Wilds, maybe. Pick another card, then go Fireball next turn, kill both Mons Goblin Raiders. Assuming he's not going to play a Goblin King. If he plays a Goblin King, I got to go Fireball the King. A Warlord. Okay, that's actually another problem I didn't even think about. Okay, this is kind of okay-ish with that factory. Um, wow. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I've got a plan, people. I'm going to look up green. Do you see the plan? I'm not going to tell you what the plan is. You're just going to have to wait and see. You'll probably see the plan. It's not much of a plan. Oh, is he going to bend? No, don't do that. Oh, man, you. Oh, he's actually banding, but not banding with the Warlord. Okay, let's, he's just doing kind of weird stuff. Okay, choose blockers. Fast effects assign blockers. Yes, please. This was the plan all along. Ha, 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 yes. Killed the Warlord. What's really nice is Kelden Warlord with Kobolds, because they're zero to cast, so they're like pump spells for you, Kelden Warlord. It's really cool. Um. Okay, so let me think. I could do Fireball for three on the Warlord. Maybe I should. I can also just go Giant Spider. I think I'm just going to go Giant I mean, if the computer is any good, the computer could go banned Goblin Raiders, banned with Warlord attack for 4-4. Four, four. Then if I block on the spider, put the two damage from the spider on your Goblin Raider, um, you know. Wow, look at this, Taunus' weaponry. That's actually pretty bad for me. I think I got a fireball that, I think I got a fireball to kill the Warlord now. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I just don't feel comfortable attacking. I mean, I'm on 12. Hmm. Oh God, this is bad. Oh, I can't block. They got mountain walk, of course. I'm like, why, why can't I not block? But I can't mountain walk. Am I gonna lose? Is it? Okay, so the red wizard is kicking me out of his castle, and now he's winning as well. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, <clears throat> oh man. I'm thinking, by the way. If you're wondering what what's he doing, why is it so quiet? I'm thinking. Um, factory. Change the assembly worker. Pay one red. I'm just gonna attack whatever. Okay. Um, I need a mana open for the crumble. I'm gonna play Sylvan. Should I crumble now? Because if I crumble now, I think I'm gonna crumble now. Yeah. 
The problem here is like if he attacks with the Goblin King, I could play Berserk on it, right? Kill it, but I'll be dead. Oh no, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. God. You know, I'm just gonna pay you gold, I'm just done. Can we stop attacking me, please? I'm gonna pay 100 gold, because I'm done. I'm gonna... Here, accept tribute. That's nice. Um, yeah, give me some spells from the Black Castle. Contains large black creatures. Well, thank you, sir. God, man, this is this is horrible. Okay, how far away am I from the Red Castle? Wow. Wow. This is these are some decent white cards. That's awesome. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Mm. Do we have another Shivan? I don't think so. Oh, man. I feel so bad, like, losing a Shivan. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go for deck number two. Um, 39, oh yeah, because I lost that, you know, the giant growth, right, or not. What card did I lose that it has an effect on? Let's see, what other card can I play in here? You know what? I'm going to play Whirling. No, why would I play Whirling Dervish? Why would I play Whirling Dervish in this deck? I am, because I can play it out quickly, and it's going to grow, and yada, yada, yada. Oh, God. Um, take his message south to my brother. You know what? Never mind, because I just... I first want to destroy... Super annoying. I want to free that village. I feel bad about it. Okay. My ante. Duel the creature. Play first. Come on. The good news is with this deck, it's like I only need one mana. Um... Already thinking. I'm going to go nowhere else. Next turn, deploy Scripps Sprites Asp. Oh, man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually not going to play anything else out. Why? I want to keep Giant Grove open. If he attacks with the brothers block using the giant growth oh he's not attacking oh that's a horrible per you're a horrible person let's attack with the asp see what he does this is what i really needed because as soon as he's got enough mana to activate the brothers of fire he can kill my entire deck so i really need to kill his brothers as fast as i can um uh, i'm gonna go sylvan Stone Rain, okay. Put back. Um, strip Mine? I think I'm just going to go super aggressive. Uh, pay for life. I want to play Forest. I'm going to play Asp. Let's play an Asp. Let's attack first. Play another Asp. Let's 
Take the damage from my Asp Legacy counter. Wall of dust. Wall of dust. That is annoying. Oh, I'm forgetting the Sylvan. Um, hmm. Let's see, he's got this one, this one, this one. You know what? I'm gonna strip the mountain because I'm, I'm just afraid for cards like Earthquake or Fireball, you know, stuff like that. Um, done, and I'm gonna attack with the sprites. Yeah, Wall of Dust. It's funny that it's got that, that kind of creature stays tapped when it has blocked it, which is more like a blue ability now. Pretty cool, that Wall of Dust, I like the flavor. Oh, Ragman, okay. Okay, Ragman. Put it back on library. Let's put it back that one. Put it back on library. Let's put it back that one. Rack man is two. Oh, three black to activate. So I can just attack the black mana, I guess. Let's go Ice Storm. Okay, so at least that's working. I mean, part of me wants to play Living Lands just for the forest becoming a 1-1, but... Okay, okay, look at him go. Destroying one of my, uh, my lands there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, another Wall of Dust, dude, please. I'm gonna pay for a life. I think my living land strategy is coming closer and closer. I mean, he's on 17. A dingus egg? Oh no, not a dingus egg. Oh, this is so risky. Not a dingus egg. Uh, put it back in library. Wait a minute, I've got an ice storm. That's cool. He's gonna take damage. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Jambazar because then he can no longer make. That's cool. I'm going to go for that. Go for Jambazar. Yeah, take the damage. That is sweet. I'm not going to play out any lands. It's just too risky. I mean, I don't need a lot of lands with my deck anyway, so. Another Dingazak, of course. Put back. Oh wow! And then there's the crawl worm. Crawl worm is actually pretty good. Uh, should I play out lands if I start to draw crawl worm? Maybe I should. Oh, yeah, it's scary. It's scary though. Like if he finds a way to destroy multiple lands on my side, I mean I'm on. I mean he's on eleven now too. But Dingus Egg is just a scary card when your opponent starts playing that. Oh, and there's got he found a red source, which is also scared. Guess I'm a bit of a scaredy cat at the moment. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna go for the script sprites. Put him on nine. Next turn, put him on six. Problem is, each land that he destroys on my side of the table, I'm gonna take four damage because of the double Dingus Egg. I mean, Dingus Egg used to be restricted, right? People were really scared of this card. I mean, I wanna go draw extra card, you know, pay four, drop the Crawler, but yeah, I gotta be careful. And he's on six, two more swings with my Scri Scripps Bright army and I'm, I'm good, I'm solid. 
Oh wow, strip mine, but strip mine also destroys. I with I gotta go for strip mine because then I can win. Right? I gotta go for strip mine. Let's go strip mine. Sack to destroy land. Strip mine is so brutal. Can you imagine playing Dingus Egg in a four strip format? <laughs> Which we're actually playing on Chandelar right now. That is pretty brutal. Eh, hey, freed the village. Yes. Okay. Good. I freed the village. Kind of like a feel-good ending of today's episode. I think it went pretty bad overall. I got kicked out of the Red Castle. I couldn't, like, prevent the Red Wizard from taking Sharmal's Sh Sanctum. But at least... Uh, I freed it again. I think next time I'm just gonna let's have a look at the map. Um, I'm all the way here though. Blue Castle's close, but Blue Castle has the horrible enchantment in place. I don't want to do that. So I guess I'm just gonna maybe maybe go for the White Castle. I don't know. Or maybe I should just try. I just still want to beat the Red Wizard to be honest. So I guess I'm. Should I go for the Red Castle though? Because red is the other color I play. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the White Castle next time. I'm gonna go for the White Castle. Anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and um, if you like what I do, if you like the channel, please support it by commenting, sharing this video, liking the video if you liked it. Of course, all these things are free and really help the channel move uh, forward. I also have my very own Patreon page. Check out Patreon.com/TimmyTalks. For all the info about that okay and that for now thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time oh man that was a, that was a tough run timmy goes green what shall we do with the drunken sailor what shall we do with the drunken sailor what shall we do with the drunken sailor we're lying in the morning when they out she rises way they out she rises way they out she rises way they out she rises, way they out she rises. Somebody can see.